Can you see them? This is what being the only camper at Indian Mounds is like. Last night was worse. Hey! Hey! Go on! Get! <laughs> I mean, you're alright from a distance, but don't come on up here. I ain't hand feeding you. Do not feed them, man. They will not go away. Every five minutes last night, I had them coming up here bugging me. There's, this is like, uh, there's just tons of them up here, as you could imagine. Alright, they're out of filming distance. And I'm just attracting bugs. Oh, there they go. See those eyes glowing in the dark? Two of them. We had big ones and small ones last night. Of all varieties. The trick is to, to always put your garbage up. Put it in the garbage can. I have food in the tent, but I don't have anything out. I haven't had them uh, try to get in the tent while I'm sleeping, but they are very curious. All right, they're gone. One last thing. This is what it's like for me. This is the mesh window. See the light on it? This is what it's like for me. I turn this light off, and I'm laying down, and I look up, and I see a dark silhouette right on the other side of this they always stand up and peer in to see what i'm doing they'll be like a foot away <laughs> and i have to like kick and make noise and they go away it's kind of creepy at least they're only the size that they are i haven't had anything big come up to the tent since i've been here this is the second night <clears throat> i've seen eagles today and hawks and cormorants and big alligator gar I saw an alligator today I haven't seen anything other than uh, raccoons I have uh, I have seen some snakes not many <laughs> I'm prattling on because I I imagine another one will show up but oh well I won't waste your time and my battery anymore just too many coons when you're the only camper it's the middle of the week I'm prattling on still well anyway it's the middle of the week I'm not surprised that I'm the only camper but I thought at least there would be one or two other people to show up but they haven't maybe this weekend someone will show up but there are people who come every day to fish in the morning and in the evening and some of them are nice they talk to me others just kind of mind their own business Lots of bugs here. Really huge bumblebees. Oh, and there's bats. I've seen some bats. Alright, maybe the coons will leave me alone tonight because I'm going to sleep. Good night. I've got another customer. This is where I put my head. That's my hoodie. He's right back here somewhere messing around in the, in the scrub brush back there. These coons are like furry little crackheads. Well, not they're not necessarily. I'd rather have the raccoons than the crackheads, but <laughs> I, I'm trying to go to sleep, and every five minutes, one or two together come strolling through here. <laughs> Last night it, it lasted for about two hours, maybe maybe a little longer. Not forever. <laughs> Alright. He must have scurried off. I don't feel like crawling out there and finding them. Because when you do that, they think you're going to give them something. Like you saw that first one when I opened the tent and I put the light on him. He wasn't really scared. He just was like, oh, are you going to give me something? You know, so he starts creeping up. But I'm just trying to film him. <laughs> he doesn't know what's going on. That's kind of what to, you should expect when you go to a... If you've never been to a place like this. When you come to a place like this, the coons are usually very... Um, almost tame. Unless they're rabid. And you'll know the difference. But they, they expect 
you to hand them out something because a lot of people do though people shouldn't but they do I still hear them back there it kind of it's kind of unsettling because it's close to the corner of this tent where my head is unless it's just a huge bug hitting something back there which there are huge bugs so yeah the, the coons will like line up right outside your camp watching you cook at night and they'll creep in and if you leave anything out there that's got food in it or food garbage in it they'll bang it around you won't get any sleep so make sure you get all your garbage put in the garbage can at night and keep your food in something either in the truck or in something tight in the tent like I do I have it kind of bagged up and don't leave your food in the tent at night if you're not in the tent yourself because you'll come back to uh, the tent tore up but if you have to do that leave the uh, leave the tent flap open because they're not stupid if the tents open they're not going to chew a hole through the tent they'll just come right in and take the food I don't know why you would want them to take the food but it's better than having a hole in your tent. I'm going to try and go back to sleep.